What's up, everybody? Roger here, FarmDaysKingdom.com, with some your quick news updates for Tuesday, the 14th of March 2017. So, I'm going to be talking about a few different things, including um, Big Hero 6, also, be talking about the new Guardians of the Galaxy Telltale game, Full Throttle Remastered, and a few other little things. So, let's jump first off into Disney XD, which have ordered a second series of Big Hero. Six the series. The new series are going to be kicking off on Disney XD um, this coming fall and includes a number of different um, talents from the original movie. So there you've got um, many of the same stars as well. So it's based obviously on a Marvel comic originally and then based on the new movie. Um, the fact that they've already sort of commissioned a second series means that they have got a very, very strong indication that they're doing this one's going to be very well. I think it's probably a good thing. I think, you know, it might work better as a animated TV series than maybe a movie did. And obviously they know they can make merchandise and stuff of it. Should be pretty cool. The fact that we've got two seasons is pretty good. Um, so it's going to be a couple of years at least of Big Hero 6 coming this way. Jumping now over to um, Telltale Games, the new Guardians of the Galaxy game. A couple of new images have been shown off over the weekend. So we've got like a picture of like nowhere, the big skull. We've also got a big hangar. And we've kind of got big like area where you've, you've gone off obviously to try and find some treasure or maybe an infinity stone or something like that. All looking very good. I don't really know too much more about this yet other than it's coming out in spring, coming out on a number of different platforms spread over five different episodes so it'll be very interesting how this up never played a telltale game so I'm pretty excited to see what they do with this one here also today um and it's kind of a remastered version of full throttle is going to be coming out it was a remake of the lucas arts um classic game and um, which came out in 1995 now this game um, it was, as I say, created by Lucas Arts, so it was brought out by Disney when they bought the company. They have brought it back. It's all going to be all new, hand drawn, um, free, high resolution artwork, remastered audio and music. Players can switch back and forth between classic and remastered modes, mix and match audio graphics and user face. And there's also going to be some art. There's it's going to be part of the new um, Play Collective, which is from Sony. So if you're a PlayStation Plus, uh, Plus member, you can get an extra twenty percent off if you pre-order it now. It's also going to be available on um, PC. I'm going to be able to get that through um, GOG.com, um, which is a gang of gamers. You're going to be able to get another 20% off there. Price around about $14.99, uh, about £11, 15 euros, uh, 15 Australian dollars. Again, should be fun to play, um, obviously, and they're also doing a special offer at the minute where on the PC versions where you can get um, a sort of cheaper version of Grand Grim Fandango Remastered, Broken Age, and Day of the Tentacle Remastered, which I played last year. Quite a bit of fun. So if you were into this game originally when it came out, you definitely want to check this one out when it comes out, which will be on April in on PS4 and also PS Vita and on the PC. Um, yeah, again, pretty, pretty cool. Definitely great to see this one coming out. Um, as again, on April 18th. Um, also today, we got to see the new... Um, Despicable Me free trailer, so that looks pretty fun. Interesting to see that they brought in like an evil twin, so you can check that out over on the YouTube channel as well. I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't finding, didn't find it too funny. The minion stuff again was the, the funny bits. Um, maybe as we see a little bit more of this, but I think in general, the minions to me were the, always the best thing from the Despicable Me. Uh, movies. We also had a new trailer for um, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. Obviously, this weekend is Beauty and the Beast coming out, so there's been lots, of, lots of different stories and stuff coming on there. Some different press releases, and also issues going on with obviously the, the gay issue in terms of some countries blocking it and stuff. It's very, very messy, and it's a shame because, in you know, I'll be honest, it doesn't really sort of seem like it's a major thing from the movie of the upcoming thing. So. But as we know, the internet can get a little bit crazy every now and again. Well, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, go check us out over at thiskingdom.com for all your news on theme parks, entertainment, and collectibles. And I shall see you guys in a later video. Laters.